All righty, Build Show. Like I said, we got a treat. We got Dan here. Dan's from Blue Green Building Concepts. They're the subcontractor out here doing the work. They are very experienced. We're very fortunate to have them on this job here. Um, Howell Custom Building Group is the uh, general contractor and uh, Blue Green Building Concepts are the concrete sub. They're taking care of the foundation and taking us up to the top of the wall. Like you saw earlier, we're using that uh, 11 and three quarters by 16 inch block. But Dan, you guys have a, a typical layout or kind of structure to how you lay this out right now. Tell us a little bit about that. You usually start in the corners. Sure. Uh, we have a uh, we have a left and right corner. What we Make typically sure do. The camera too. We uh, we kind of start from the corners and work our way all the way to the middle. Um, we have a left and right corner, so everything is staggered, and then it meets in a common scene or somewhere in the wall. Um, right. So all these corners, these corners have either a short leg or a long leg, so that they're able to be stitched together. And right. reinforce that corner so yeah. that there's not this vertical right. seam, right? Exactly. So we get that overlapping that allows it to gain its strength, if you will, exactly. right? Yep. And then if you see here, you've got these ribs on these blocks. They almost slide together perfectly, too. So when they... So there's uh, a female uh, recipient and then there's a male correct. part on there. Now, you guys do uh, what I thought was a really interesting detail on the footing itself right so tell us a little bit i'm i'm holding it this is a starter track for a steel stud wall but tell us a little bit about sure. what you do there so what we do we uh here we had everything nice uh staked and um uh surveyed for us when we started the project uh, af even after we poured the footing so what we ended up doing was we squared out all the corners out and we lay our tracks down and this helps us a stabilize the wall so it doesn't keep moving and um also Creates, we have the most pressure on the bottom of our, our, our blocks when we pour concrete. And when you say pressure, that's when the concrete goes in. The weight of the concrete is pushing it, and it wants to kick out and blow out the bottom. Correct. Right? So what we use is this metal stud, and then we have essentially, we are able to screw some Phillips screws right into the bottom to secure our blocks and be able to have a nice uniform straight line as we... Right. So this basically, you, you snap the line. This gets set down on top of the footing. It right. gets shot in. And then we're able to take the block and basically put it in yep. and push it up against there. So now you have that bracing on that side, and then you can just simply screw into the uh, exactly. ICF block. And then here we have eight inches on center, essentially, you know, furring strips. So we're able to screw this all in, no problem. And get that in there. So, no, that's awesome. Now, you said that you start off in the corners and you work your way to the middle now these are four foot blocks i would almost guarantee it's probably rare that you have a wall that's on a 48 inch um setup right correct. so correct. so how do we how do we deal with when the wall is say uh 33 feet uh 10 and a half inches so what we end up doing we start with both corners and work our way to the middle and we have to figure out where our bracing goes to be able to kind of secure everything nicely and we create a common common seam essentially and so you guys have a detail for that i saw it when we were walking down into the hole over here so yeah. why don't we just jump over there and we could talk about how you solve that uh, perfect vertical seam problem sounds good <laughs> 